Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm teaching you guys how to make terrain in Blender 2.79. Now, I said I'd be streaming um, over these next few days, but I can't really stream the project I'm working on right now due to an NDA. So once I finish that up, I will stream projects that I'm allowed to share with you guys. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial and um, yeah, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is use a cylinder and this will be the dirt part of the terrain. So what we're going to do we're gonna scale it up uh, just like that. It doesn't have to be specific, just kind of taller. Um, and we're going to loop cut and slide twice. Um, so now it should have three um, sections, one, two, three. Um, just grab the vertices and kind of scale them, play with them. Um, just make the terrain randomize a little bit. I know there's modifiers for this too, but um, we're just going to change it just a little bit. We don't really need a modifier for this. It's just, um, randomize it a little bit and then we'll use a different modifier for decimating in a second. Um, once you're happy with the shape of it, uh, just keep scaling out these vertices, uh, playing with the design of it a little bit. Um, it should be looking a little bit random, not too much, still maintaining the cylinder shape. We're going to go to uh, this little wrench icon, click add modifier and decimate. And from here, we're going to drag it until we find a shape that we're happy with for our terrain. Um, so I would leave mine around uh, 0 0.5 um, or something along these lines. Just find a nice shape. If it's still not looking the way you want it to, you can loop cut again, maybe scale it out a little bit, just to randomize things a little bit more. Um, ultimately, just play with the original cylinder until you find a shape that you're happy with. Um, for me, I'm just gonna loop cut it more just so I can have a um, more complex design to it. So I kind of like that, that looks nice. We're going to scale, bring it down, the decimate modifier a little bit more. Once we're finally happy with the mesh, just go ahead and circle around, look at it, make sure you're okay with it. We're going to apply this change and we're going to tab into edit mode and we're gonna select the top face. Here's where we do the grass. Um, all we're gonna do is extrude it out, so E to extrude, and then we're going to loop cut right there and scale out the loop cut. So loop cut and then S to scale. Um, and that's how you do the terrain. Now here's a tip that I use. You don't have to use it, but I saw it in a simulator and I like the look of it. You select the whole top part of the grass and you set the face and shading to smooth. And it just makes the grass look smooth and then the terrain look very rigid. And I like that look a lot. So you can, that's completely optional. You can leave the shading flat, but that's just something I like to do. Once you're happy with that, we're gonna open up the UV image editor and we're going to map the UVs onto uh, the texture that we want it to be. I do this tutorial on this if you guys wanna follow along with that. Uh, if not, you can just pause this video and copy the steps that I'm doing. Um, S to scale, bring it down, and G to grab and bring it to a terrain color. Now if we switch our viewport to texture, we can see that we brought it to this dirt color. Now we're going to press Alt right click and select these and bring it to a green color. That's how you would make the terrain. Um, I'm gonna scale these UVs down just a little bit more, um, just so I don't see any seams or anything like that. Um, so that's the basic terrain. And then one more thing I wanna show you guys is how to make mountains, because that one was requested a lot too. So go to File, um, go to Preferences, or I think it's, um, what is it? Let me find the, okay, so File, um, and then user preferences, so control alt U, and then go to add-ons, and we're just going to search uh, landscape and enable it. So it should say add mesh ANT landscape. Uh, once you have that enabled, save your user settings and close that menu. Um, and you should see a new option down here under the scale tool, or under the create tool, sorry. Um, it should say landscape. Just add a landscape in, and this is a modifier I've been wanting to show you guys for a while. Um, it has naturally generated mountains and you can use the noise tool to change the complexity, the height, the subdivisions, all that good stuff of the mountains. Um, so I'd recommend you guys install that add-on and play around with it. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna break it down for you real simple. We're gonna change the subdivisions, which is how many times it's divided, to 30 by 30. Um, and if you switch to edit mode, you can see there's much less than there was before. Um, once we change that, I'm going to add a modifier. 
Uh, actually, first we're going to go into edit mode, set our faces to flat, and you guys can see all these. Um, we're going to add a modifier, decimate modifier like before, and we're just going to lower down the subdivisions. And as you guys can see, we have a triangulated uh, low poly mountain, kind of like triangle terrain in Roblox. Um, once you're happy with that, you can go into sculpt mode and you can use the grab tool and you can kind of shape these vertices how you want it to be or you can use um, edit mode to do that and just change the vertices in there as well. Um, and you can get exactly what shape you want. So that's two ways that I create terrain in, in Blender and then port them over to Roblox Studio. Um, yeah, if you guys need any help, make sure to leave a comment. I'll try to help you guys out. Make sure to join my Discord server. The link's in the description. And also, if you guys are interested in asset packs, um, such as terrain asset packs and other things, check out my Patreon. I upload monthly asset packs. Um, and there's plenty of stuff for you guys to choose from on there. And it's a lot easier than having to create it yourself. Um, anyways, thank you guys for your time. I appreciate um, you guys watching this. And I hope you learned something. And I'll see you guys next time.